Mr. Bernard Marley, I presume. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I have to ask you about an expedition to Guatemala. Shh, not here. It's too dangerous. I'll give you my card. Visit me there where we can talk. Excuse me, where is Grub Street? It's that way. I'm not expecting anyone. Fresh scratches. There were two large boxes. A drawing of Takunu Mark. No oxidation. This metal arm has never been outside. It's not part of the bowling club statue. Hello there, my man. Is your boss in? Ah, oh, he's in his office. It's the door near the female statue in the corner of the workshop. Boss of Pedro Alvarado. He was a conquistador, I believe. Hello there, my man. Is your boss in? Sorry, I'm too busy to chat. Mr. Holmes, 
You must forgive my escape at the club. It wasn't a safe place to talk. And it's safer here? Yes, better here. Not my office. I have secured my foundry, you know. Ah, reassuring. Did you know Zacharias Greystoke, the victim? Yes, he was a brave friend. Such good karma, until yesterday. Do you recognize the unwell man in this photograph? By Jove, albeit. Yes, that's him. The poor fellow met his end in Guatemala. He was struck down by a terrible disease. You were friends? Not really, but he was an active member and a courageous man. Too courageous. You can't fight against the Kiche gods. And what of the expedition? You were seeking a Mayan temple? Yes, the temple of Tekun Uman. Another one of Charles's stupid ideas. We found it, but there was some kind of strange force that prevented us from entering. An evil aura. It was Tekun Uman's emanation. We could all feel it. Albeit's disease worsened suddenly, there was nothing we could do. And now, with Zacharias' death, the curse has reawakened. After 14 years. Prophecies are timeless. Even in the beyond, there is no escape. Did Zacharias believe in the prophecy? It is not a matter of belief. Don't you understand? Zacharias was convinced that we could stop the curse by studying the calendar. What insanity. Hmm. He sent me a message. He wanted us to visit the club and to try to convince Charles to remove the calendar from the award ceremony. But you didn't go. <sighs> I knew Charles would refuse. Anyway, studying the calendar wouldn't help. Tekun Uman is far too powerful. Your relationship with Charles Yellingham is... Not friendly. Well, it is reciprocal. You know, most of his expeditions are failures because he is too focused on his hypothetical career to be in politics. He has political ambition. That would be an understatement. He has ambitions for the House of Lords, and the club is his means of achieving this. It's also the reason for his disastrous management. But he still succeeds in finding money. I wonder how. What's your opinion on Takun Uman's statue having disappeared? I don't know, but I have nothing to do with it. Nothing. But in fact, you do. You made the statue. That's true. But it was ten years ago. You can't blame me for that. Don't you think so? After all, it is the statue that is responsible for killing. No! It's Tekun Umar. But who could imagine that a simple statue replica would be chosen by Tekun Umar? Nobody. I have to leave you now. I've got paperwork to do. And we've spoken too much. He could hear us. Tekun Umar. Well, goodbye then. Apparently, Marley has built multiple statues of Takuni Mar.
Something large and heavy was dragged here. A furnace for melting metal. This mechanism is quite modern. All the gears are of good quality. Strange to find it in a foundry. Two large boxes which were inside the warehouse. They were taken to Bernard Marley's office. It's probable that the missing crates contained pieces of Takunuman's statue. Marley is hiding something inside his office. I'll have to visit it, but at night, and with Watson. <laughs> 